Welcome back guys, Zach Man doing a video update, Tron TRX. So, as I kind of talked about uh, yesterday in my last video, um, obviously the little sell-off of Tron TRX, and it's just not Tron, pretty much kind of the whole market kind of uh, is bleeding red today. There's only about probably a handful or so of uh, some of the cryptocurrencies in green, but uh, let's get into it. So obviously, like I said, we can kind of see uh, the candle here of today. On the day chart here, obviously, you know, we hit a high of uh, 863 Satoshis, and then it pretty much uh, kind of took a dive down, uh, you know, about 700 uh, Satoshis. Let's see what exactly what that would be at the bottom there. Yeah, about 665 Satoshis, actually, so it kind of hit down there. But now it's obviously back in the green. So, you know, like I said, some people are, like I said, we're going to start taking some profits. Um, so we sh we're kind of stuck in this wedge. Oh, I'm sorry, this wedge right down here, as you can kind of see. So, uh, depending on where it closes and uh, where it opens up at, you know, obviously we have the next uh, resistant line is going to be right up here, uh, which is like right around three and uh, uh, cents, three and a half cents, um, before we kind of keep on going. But like I said, we'll see another uh, uh, profit taking uh, right around that four cent mark. Um, so we'll kind of see a downside. So um, we'll kind of play these next few days. Probably won't be until sometime next week where that happens since the weekend's coming up here and stuff. So, um, if you look at Bitcoin, you can kind of see it took a, a kind of a huge downturn right here. Uh, big red cell candle. A lot of the reason why that is, is because of the, the Fed, which I'll get into here in a little bit. But, uh, as you kind of see that, uh, even Bitcoin's down, you know, took a huge, uh, loss there. So, um, as far as the market cap, we're back at number nine, so we kind of uh, lost that number eight, but uh, not by much. You know, we're only down by a few uh, 200 uh, billion or so, so uh, we'll get uh, back up there. 200, sorry, 200 billion. So uh, we'll get back up in there uh, hopefully by next week. Obviously, the summit's next week, so we should see a little bit of a surge there. Um, Fortron, as far as that goes uh, around that summit, but then I could see it kind of leveling off a day or two before and during the the um the event when it's happening it'll probably level off a little bit and then uh, depending on what's said and all that stuff obviously i'm not a mind reader i don't know what they have to announce or nothing like that so uh it'll either be a positive or a downside i guess uh, as far as that goes so we'll have to see you until see what happens after the summit's done but um yeah so back to the kind of why the we're in a bear market um i know the federal reserve uh is close to ending or neutralizing the interest rates um, after December's hike, so they're gonna kind of lay off on it a little bit. They're not gonna do any uh, interest hikes. I think they did like three or four in the year uh, last year. Um, so obviously the U.S. stocks and the forex market, the gold, all this stuff, uh, they made a bunch of gains. And of course, uh, you know that's not really good because when the stock market does good, it seems like Bitcoin kind of does the opposite of that. So um, that's kind of one of the reasons why I believe the kind of the way things turned out uh, today uh, but i knew like i said yeah my I did my video yesterday i kind of knew that uh, tron was gonna start taking some profit taking there and start to kind of go down a little bit but like i said we're still back in the green but you know like i said a little bit of a flash crash for tron you know it was slipped about 10 percent an hour so uh, nothing you know drastic but uh, it did take a little bit of a downturn but uh like i said we're back in the green right now so that's pretty positive um, another thing about Bitcoin, uh, which I found, I found this, uh, site here. I thought it was a pretty interesting read here, but, uh, so there's a guy that kind of thinks, uh, he calculated the bottom for Bitcoin using the UTXO, which is an unspent transaction output index that he has. So if we take a look at this chart right here, um, so for example, or it's not really an example, but, uh, uh, basically, um, the green line, Right down here represents the Bitcoin in circulation um, that has not been used uh, in the last year for transactions. So uh, right here, so yeah, the green line tells you what percentage of Bitcoin circulating supply, which is currently 17.5 million, has not been used in a transaction in the past year. So if you look up here, this is right $10. Um, it kind of went down and then it started working its way back up. And then we had a little bit of an uptrend, uptrend, uptrend then it kind of went down we had a little downtrend that's when it was right around uh what is that 100 bucks and then obviously it hit a thousand and then again it kind of goes up um you kind of follow that all the way along and then it went down and that's when we had the crash and it's kind of going back back up again so uh the blue line gives us how many bitcoins haven't moved in the past five years or more 
So right here is the blue line. So that kind of tells you right around about two, 300% or so, uh, it looks like. So this is, I just found this really interesting to kind of see how um, this guy was calculating this. But um, basically it's uh, it kind of sums it up. Uh, it, it The blue line pretty much checks out uh, pretty much the, the same way that 2014 did um, when it, before the rise. So that is kind of how this guy came up with this system to kind of analyze it, do his analytics, and basically that's what it kind of came up. So uh, the expectation is a small dip at the end of 2017. Notice the dip occurs when Bitcoin's price was at its peak, um, which again is right there. And let's see what else. Uh, we can assume these older owners have exhausted much of their selling efforts. Um, which then obviously, uh, yeah, like I said, went down to a year, staying flat through the first half of 2018. Uh, we're seeing an accumulation process right now. So right now, like I said, the accumulation process is beginning because this green line is starting to move up. So uh, we do believe the bottom is coming uh, soon. It's getting close for Bitcoin. So I thought that was an interesting article for you guys to check out. Um, yeah. So yeah, like I said, Bitcoin is back in green, which is pretty pot, or not Bitcoin, sorry, Tron is back in green. And like I said, we'll kind of bounce around this little wedge right here. We'll probably see a breakout, hopefully there, hit that resistance and kind of bounce around this wedge and then hopefully uh, come up next uh, sometime uh, next week around here. And then uh, once we hit that four cents, then we're going to see a little bit of a, a downtrend back to the selling off. And then uh, depending on what's said at this uh, summit, um, which obviously will... I'll keep an update and hopefully there's some new information coming out there so I can update you guys as well. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.